In today's gospel, James and John go to Jesus on the road to Jerusalem and ask that if in his glory, they can be seated, one on his right and the other on his left. The other disciples become indignant at this. The gospel doesn't say if they were indignant because of the fact that James and John asked to be given honors over them, or if they were upset because the brothers asked without giving the others a chance to put forward their case for the honors. But Jesus does not rebuke them. He understands that their request came not from a desire to seek glory and honor necessarily, but rather out of their zealousness in following him. He first explains that they do not really understand what they are asking for. He then asks them if they can drink the cup or be baptized with the baptism which I am baptized. In other words, are they ready to undergo the trials and tribulations which he must undergo with his crucifixion and death? Jesus then explains to his disciples what it really means to be a follower of Christ. Time and time again during his time here on earth, Jesus forsook glories and honors and instead chose to humbly serve others. At the River Jordan, when John exclaimed that he was not worthy to baptize him, Jesus insisted on undergoing baptism just like the others. Jesus washed the feet of his fellow disciples in an extreme example of humility. As he stated, he came not to be served, not not to be served, but to serve. This is what his followers must do in order to obtain glory and honor. They must be willing to be the slave of all. In other words, we should not be focused on doing great deeds and accomplishing great things, but rather we should be focused on giving all of ourselves for the good of others. And by sacrificing our own wishes and desires for the sake of our fellow human beings, we will be considered great in the eyes of God. This is what he meant when he said, he who is the least among you will be the greatest of all.